This is the seventh generation Volkswagen Golf that follows the original MK1 launched back in 1976. It doesn't look a whole lot different from the current Golf but Volkswagen claims it is completely new. The reason for the similar looks is deliberate. VW says the evolution of the Golf design, with the company continually refining, tweaking and enhancing the car over the years, makes the design timeless. More room thanks to the new Golf growing in length and width by 56mm and 13mm respectively there is more interior space. Front passengers get 20mm more leg space and 31mm more shoulder space, while rear passengers are served 15mm more room to dangle legs and 30mm more space to waggle shoulders. There is also more elbow room front and back. The boot has grown too, from 350 litres to 380 litres, and the boot still sits slower at 685 millimetres. Rear seats also split as before but a new feature is an optional folding front passenger seat that enables a long load space of 2412 millimetres, ideal for trips to the DIY shop. Standard equipment there are 8 trim levels, S. Blue Motion, E-Golf, say replaced by match from summer 2014, GT, GTD, GTE, GTI and R models to choose from, the latter two of which are reviewed separately. All Volkswagen Golfs will be fitted with touch screens in the center console that is angled towards the driver for better ergonomics. Lower specification models come with a 5.8-inch color display while a range-topping satellite navigation systems feature an 8.0-inch color screen. Standard features include DAB digital radio, O inputs including USB, Bluetooth preparation and trip computer. All Golfs will come with an electronic parking brake with an auto hill feature that automatically holds the car until the clutch engages. Say and match models and up will also be fitted with adaptive cruise control that automatically maintains a set distance from the vehicle in front. Also available will be the optional park assist, the self-pack system already available on other VW models such as Tiggan. New safety features standard on all VW Golfs is a multi-collision brake system that automatically brakes the car after an initial impact if the car hasn't already stopped. All versions bar the Intralevel S will also feature front assist and city emergency braking. Each system is designed to automatically brake the car to a standstill if the system detects an impending accident. Other systems include driver alert monitors drivers and puts to detect any signs of tiredness, lane assist warns if the car strays out of its lane and dynamic light assist controls the high beam so it doesn't dazzle oncoming traffic. Less weight and new engines the new Golf has been on a diet and shed 100 kilograms, plus it gets a new range of engines that are all fitted with stop start and battery regeneration systems to boost fuel efficiency and reduce emissions. There will be 6 petrol and 5 diesel engines to choose from. In terms of petrol there is a 1.2 litre TSI with a claimed average of 57.6 miles per gallon and 113 GKM road tax band C, a 1.4 litre TSI with active cylinder technology system can shut down two of the cylinders to reduce fuel consumption that can return 58.9 miles per gallon and emits 112 GKM of CO2 also road tax band C and three tunes of the 2.0 litre TSI in the GTI and R. There are 5 diesels comprising 1.6 and 2.0 litre versions that return a claimed range of 60.1 miles per gallon and 88.3 miles per gallon depending on the version selected. The 1.6 litre remits 99 GKM, or just 85 GKM in blue motion form so currently qualifies for zero road tax while the 2.0 litre emits between 106 GKM qualifying for road tax band B and 122 GKM band D.
The GTD uses a 181 bhp diesel with 380 Nm of pulling power. The result is a 062 miles per hour time of 7.5 seconds allied to impressive 67.3 miles per gallon and 109 gkm CO2 output. Joining the range in summer 2014 is the plug-in hybrid GTE. With 201 bhp available, the GTE mates a 1.4 litre TSI petrol engine with an electric motor. A top speed of 135 and a sprint to 62 miles per hour in 7.6 seconds are even more impressive when you consider the claims of 188 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of just 35 gkm. From late 2014 there will also be a full electric version for the first time, the Golf. With a range of 118 miles and powered by a 113 bhp motor, the emissions-free car is distinguished with full LED lights front and rear. Growing the range further in 2015 was the economical 1 litre TSI Blue Motion offering up to 65.7 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of just 99 gkm. Prices for the range start just under the outgoing model and come with more kit fitted as standard. So is this seventh heaven for VW? Read the full Volkswagen Golf review to see if it can still top the class. Performance, depending on what your requirements are there are different levels of Volkswagen Golf performance according to the engine chosen. Six petrol engines and five diesel engines are available to order as well as the all-electric e-golf. Petrol engines The petrol engine range starts with the 1-litre TSI Blue Motion offering 113 bhp, but despite having such a high output for its size, the focus is efficiency. VW claims 65.7 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of just 99 gkm for the three-cylinder motor. A six-speed manual gearbox is standard, with the five-door version optionally available with the seven-speed DSG automatic. Next up is a four-cylinder 1.2-litre TSI unit producing 83 bhp, rising via a 1.2-litre TSI 103 bhp and a 1.4-litre TSI 120 bhp motor to the all new 1. 4 litre TSI 138 bhp engine with active cylinder technology. This high tech setup deactivates the central two cylinders under light loads to maximize efficiency. It means this engine is capable of 58.9 miles per gallon combined cycle and 112 gkm when fitted with a 7 speed DSG gearbox. Thanks to the ability to deactivate the central two cylinders under light loads. The 138 bhp 1.4 litre TSI engine is likely to be the best selling model in the UK and has more than enough oomph to suit your driving style. It can get from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.4 seconds and has a top speed of 131 miles per hour when mated to either a 6-speed manual or a DSG box. Performance fans will be keen on the GTI, offering 217 bhp or 227 bhp with the optional performance pack. Both 6-speed manual and DSG gearboxes are available. Diesel engines 5 diesel engines are available, including the 1.6 litre TDI with 89 bhp and 104 bhp and a new 2.0 litre TDI 147 bhp unit. The 147 bhp 2.0 litre engine mated to a 6 speed manual gearbox will complete the benchmark sprint in 8.6 seconds 8.6 seconds with a 6 speed DSG box and has an achievable top speed of 134 miles per hour 131 miles per hour with a 6 speed DSG box. Both feature the latest common rail diesel technology for maximum efficiency. All new Golf models, both diesel and petrol, come with a stop-start system as standard, 
along with battery regeneration. The GTD uses a high-power 2.0-litre four-cylinder diesel engine that produces an impressive 181 bhp and 380 newton meters for startling performance. Sprinting from 06 to miles per hour takes 7.5 seconds and the top speed at 142 miles per hour, with effortless performance available in every gear. Championing the Eco Cause is the latest Blue Motion with a 108 bhp version of the 1.6 TDI, longer gearing and improved aerodynamics, lowering fuel consumption and emissions to 88.3 miles per gallon and 85 gkm CO2, respectively. Electric and hybrid powertrains those seeking zero emission motoring will welcome the full iElectric e Golf which offers seamless acceleration from its single-speed gearbox. Its top speed is limited to only 87 mph, though combined with its 118-mile range it proves perfect for urban use. Those who want to be green without sacrificing fun will find the plug-in hybrid Golf GTE of interest thanks to its 1.4-litre TSI engine and electric motor. It promises GTI-style performance but with far more efficient running costs. With a top speed of 135 miles per hour, the GTE can sprint to 62 miles per hour in 7.6 seconds, yet return a claimed 188 miles per gallon. Choice of gearboxes Gearboxes are a mixture of 5 and 6 speed manuals, and 6 and 7 speed DSG units depending on the engine's power and torque outputs plus whether choosing a 5 or 3 door model. New driving modes A driver profile system comes as standard from say up and includes 4 modes, Eco, Sport, Normal and Individual if you chose a DSG as an option then you also get a 5th mode Comfort. Each of these modes alters the engine mapping to increase or decrease the liveliness of the car. Parkers recommends the 1.4-litre TSU with the active cylinder technology fitted with the 6-speed manual means you get strong performance and good fuel consumption. Handling, the VW Golf has been on a serious diet and shared 100 kilograms, which improves the car's handling to make it more agile. This has been further improved as the Golf is wider at the front 13mm and it is lower 28mm to the ground when compared with the previous generation. This helps improve stability as the new Golf has minimal body roll and is tons of fun on twisty single lane mountain roads. This 7th generation of the VW Golf is brilliant. The grip is phenomenal and it certainly sits at the top of the class. VW has made the Golf more driver friendly. All models also come with XDS, a feature once reserved for the Halo GTI model. In fast cornering the XDS system can detect slip at the front wheels and alters the amount of power to stop wheel spin. It also works in conjunction with the Electronic Stability Program ESP which compensates for any understeer making handling more precise and neutral. The Golf is now fitted with a variable ratio system that responds directly when driving and in town makes maneuvering and parking easier by turning the wheels more for a given input at the steering wheel. The different driver modes vary the weighting and while at slow speeds it feels a tad artificial it weights up nicely when driving at speed. Equipment, 8 trim levels, excluding the GTI and R which are reviewed separately are available in the regular UK Golf lineup, S, Blue Motion, Say, Match, E-Golf, GT, GTD and GTE. Standard specification levels build on those of the outgoing model bringing new items of luxury and technology to the class, so Volkswagen Golf equipment levels have improved. Standard equipment The intralevel composition media system includes a 5.8-inch color touchscreen, DAB digital radio, a CD player, MDI interface for connecting iPod or MP3 player, Bluetooth telephone preparation and audio streaming and 8 speakers. Also standard is climatic semi-automatic aircon, among a host of other features. Blue Motion has aerodynamic bodywork features. Special badging, 
15-inch alloy wheels and lowered, sports suspension. Moving up from S to Satrim brings an outstanding range of features, including standard ADC automatic distance control with front assist and city emergency braking, which can even bring the vehicle to a complete halt if necessary. Also included is a driver alert system, pre-crash preventative occupant protection, driver profile selection with four modes and five on DSJ equipped cars, rain sensitive wipers, an automatically dimming rear view mirror and dusk sensor automatic driving lights. Interior trim includes brushed stainless steel decorative inserts, and zoom micro cloth upholstery, along with a leather trimmed handbrake grip, gear lever and multifunction steering wheel. A black radiator grille with chrome trimmed inserts and Toronto 16-inch alloy wheels complete the exterior. From summer 2014, Match replaced the Satrim and added front and rear parking sensors, electrically folding door mirrors with integral puddle lights, auto dimming rear view mirror and 16-inch Denver alloy wheels. The Golf is based on the SA specification and adds 16-inch Teves alloy wheels dual zone climate control, front and rear parking sensors and an 8-inch touchscreen Discover Pro SatNav. From the outside, the GT model can be recognized by its 17-inch Dijon alloy wheels, front fog lights and air intakes with chrome surrounds, cherry red rear light clusters, and heat insulating dark tinted rear glass. Inside there are gloss black decorative inserts. Alcantara and cloth sports seats, LED reading lights, ambient lighting in the doors and center console, electrically foldable door mirrors with puddle lights, and front and rear parking sensors with visual display. A standard the GT comes with a Discover Navigation Media System. This includes a 5.8-inch color touchscreen preloaded with European mapping data with three years of free upgrades, traffic sign display and twin SD card reader as well, of course, as the same multimedia functionality as the composition media unit. GTD and GTE models add to the GT's sportiness with 18-inch Nogaro alloy wheels for the GTD and Ceron rims on the GTE, 15mm lower sports suspension, Bixen and headlamps with LED day running lights shaped and bumper mounted on the GTE. LED tail lights, and Kai bumper designs and a sports interior with grey detailing on the GTD, blue on the GTE. The GTE is only available as a five-door hatchback. Optional equipment Optional equipment includes high beam assist, lane assist, park assist which is able to parallel pack the golf and space is only 80 centimeters longer than the car itself in addition to providing automatic hind and parking, ACC adaptive chassis control and a rear view camera. Drivers can also select from a choice of alternative alloy wheels up to 18 inches in diameter, Bixen and headlights, Vienna leather upholstery optionally with 12-way electrically adjustable front seats. Two zone climate control, the Discover Pro navigation system with 8 inch color touch screen, keyless entry, and a panoramic sunroof, among other options. Comfort, the Volkswagen Golf comfort levels are high. The cabin is pleasant and road wind and tire noise are minimal, while the ride is excellent. Up front, the seats are comfortable, well bolstered, and have ample side supports. The 7th generation Golf is 56mm longer than the previous model while the front wheels are 43mm further forward. This has helped to generate more interior space and making the Golf an even better proposition for rear seat passengers on long motorway trips. Practicality, the VW Golf has grown ever so slightly. The length is increased by 56 mm longer and it's 13 mm wider than the outgoing version meaning that the interior space is improved. Up front there is a little more elbow room while knee room is also enhanced making the Golf feel a bit more spacious. Load space has also increased and with seats in place this has grown from 350 to 380 litres and to aid loading and unloading the Golf receives a usefully low load lip. 
rivals including the Ford Focus 316 liters, Audi A3 365 liters, and the BMW 1 Series 370 liters all have a smaller boot with the seats in place although the Vauxhall Astra 380 liters does equal the Golf in the space race. When you fold the rear seats in the Golf the load space expands to 1,270 litres. Those buying the e-Golf will be pleased to know that passenger space doesn't suffer, despite the batteries sandwiched into the floor, and there's just as much room as before. Safety, all Golf models come with 7 airbags, including a driver's knee airbag, 5 3-point seatbelts, ABS with ESP. XDS electronic differential lock and ISO fix preparation for two rear child seats. Driver fatigue detection and lane assists are firsts for the Golf, and same models and are fitted with more safety kit as standard including city emergency braking. Volkswagen Golf safety levels are very strong. It was awarded 5 stars when tested by independent safety experts, Euroncap. Reliability. The previous generation was one of the most reliable cars in its class so expect Volkswagen Golf reliability to continue to impress. The majority of the engines have been proven in either the previous Golf or other models and so will doubtless prove reliable.